Does Esther look beautiful, Eve? Uh, yeah! <laughs> Always. Okay. To another day with the Norps. It's not um, just any day. It's not just any day, though. This kid right here Adam! is 12 today. Adam. It's he didn't his already birthday. know I was 11 before. Adam. Yeah, he was 11 before. Now he's 12. So we're starting off with the breakfast of his choice, which is uh, French toast. Bacon. Here, you want to get those little and holster. You bacon. Mom um, is helping out with that. Oh. So, um, this is the one week of the year where these two are the same age. Eight days. Eight days. Is it eight days? Oh. Eight oh. days that they're both 12 or whatever age eight that Peter happened to be. Oh, yeah. Because they were kind of close when it came to On their seventh birth day um, order. A year apart. Yep, that was a surprise. But uh, mom is doing French toast for us over here. I'm gonna make some syrup, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. Have if you some... guys, if you're wondering how he makes syrup, he goes out to the backyard with this tree. No. <laughs> it's a really good recipe, and it's on our website. It's called Dream Syrup. Basically, buttermilk, sugar, Ooh, and butter, angel syrup and some vanilla. Vanilla. It's like buttermilk caramel. It's really good. I hate okay. this one. Peter's excited. How is it? Go! Great. Go. Good? Yeah. Go. Go. This table could be cleared off a little bit. There's lots of random things on it. Okay, Pete, show us the um, dream syrup. Baby, there's not any bacon. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're That's not going to want too much. Not Are you sure? No. Just one scoop. Well, let, just, just see how, how far it goes. It's fine. Let's just see how far it goes. No, if you cook it a little bit longer, it'll be clearer and thicker. Whoa, that's a lot. See, you wouldn't want it. It's just basically melted butter and sugar, so. It's caramel. Mm. Thin yep. caramel. It's yummy. But it is homemade. Oh, there's some it's all caramel. natural. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. You want two pieces. All right, well, we had uh, breakfast. It was really good. Um, now the next part of the day is one thing that Asher really wanted for his birthday was to go visit a blacksmith shop, like a place where they sell blacksmith materials. And that shop is like over two hours away. And so, just getting in. So it makes it difficult to get to, um, but it's his birthday. So um, we're gonna do that. We're on another blacksmithing adventure. So we're gonna drive for a couple hours and go see what the shop's all about. And if they've got some good stuff, Asher has gathered up his birthday money and is ready to spend it. And this stuff, blacksmithing tools are not cheap, so we'll see, I don't know. Do you have an idea, do you have like specific things you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Or you just kind of want to look for fun? I'll find out when I get there. Okay, so we'll see. Anyways, we gotta get going. All right, we just got here. It was a long drive. We had to make an appointment because of uh, COVID. They're requiring a by appointment only. So we made an appointment yesterday. We're a few minutes late, but we're up here. This is not a commercial area in any way. Just looking out the window here, you can see we are. This is just kind of up here in the hills around Asheville. So it just looks like a warehouse over there. So uh, let's, we'll go out and see what they got. All right, we're here. This is it. No sign really. Oh, hey. How you doing? Okay. This house coming up, so they can let us in. This is it. We're getting shown around a little bit. She's helping us look at some of the tools. Wow. And you have to hold your hands tight, and that gives yeah. you kind of elbow and things like that. Yeah. I don't know what different ones hold, but I'm the person I know. Oh, cool. All the material. Different 
be able to be in corner square. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What you do with it is you can round it out and you'll leave it square and then certain areas. That might be handy to have. Four rounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nice. She's kind of showing us around and asking him kind of what he has, what he doesn't have, and trying to help him see what might be useful to add to his collection of tools and material. So, so we've got this is their their area that they work in. We've got these huge presses. They make some of their own stuff. They make these tongs. Off-center tongs, I think she called them. Anyhow, so this is a legitimate blacksmith shop too. Okay, we got a selection of tools here. She's gonna add them up for us. Got some material he can work with. A brush, yeah. See what it all adds up to. This is an expensive hobby. Restorations. We did some movies. Oh, really? Hardware for mute movies. And so these are all the different examples of the hinges right. and stuff. Okay, right. this is the kind of stuff they used to make here. I like these. This is kind of cool. That's Pretty. known as blacksmith's twist. Oh, that's neat. And, uh, so she's going to show us kind of some of the stuff they used to make here when they were just strictly blacksmithing shops. We're going to have a look in their little gallery. Oh, that's cool. So these are all the things we used to make, the hooks, as you can see. Man. Yeah. Mm. A little heart hook. All the handles. Some yep. lunch sets. Uh, toilet paper. <laughs> towel racks. Anything and... you can think of, huh? <laughs> we can't keep up, so there's no time. Although yeah, he's still making cool. uh, cranes. He's making a crane right now for somebody. A crane? Um, yeah, that's a fireplace crane. Oh. The clock in uh -huh. the fireplace. Okay. Oh. Wow. And, uh, yeah, this is great. Uh, that we used to cast. Cast in brass. Oh. And that's so cool. um, when we lived up north, we did a lot of shows. Um, you can make tools. You can make just like knives. You can actually make like what they used to make. You can do all of it. Yeah. Yeah, so we got finished up there. Shirley, who's the, he and she and her husband were the original owners of this business. Now where their son runs it for the most part, but she, she took us around and showed us all the stuff and showed us their little, their little kind of display shed there with all the different stuff they used to make. They used to actually just make hinges and all the tools that for the, I guess, the implements that people need a blacksmith to make for them. And now they moved into providing tools for blacksmiths. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but she was really nice. And uh, you got what we, we kind of showed it. You got some material, some actual metal to work with. You got a cutter, a cutter, which is like a wedge thing that goes in your anvil, right? So you can like, kind of like hit the metal or yeah. use a hammer and kind of cut through the metal when it's hot. Um, and tongs, tongs and a uh, brush oh brush a wire brush and borax it's boric acid i think borax somehow borax, they're related short too for borax like some people call it borax and some people call it boric acid so. okay yeah um all told that was a hundred and how much 172 which is one dollar under than what i have how much asher had to spend to get a good anvil is like fourteen hundred dollars or something like that, like kind of their standard or size. Or you can go on eBay and like buy one for way less, because yeah. it, it kind of differs like on how much it costs. Because like you know what, like she said, they might cost like oh. way more, yeah, or way less. It just depends on. Yeah, if you can find the right person selling it, then you might be able to get it for cheaper. But mm -hmm. they have every tool you need. So if you're into, if you're a blacksmith enthusiast, blacksmith. Depot or Blacksmith's Depot just outside of Asheville, North Carolina is a pretty good spot. They do and they have their they sell all their stuff online as well. So probably next time we need a shop, we'll just go online. But it was fun to come see the Yeah. Kind of walk down the aisles and see all the stuff they've got. So I think now I think we'll grab some lunch in town and then head home. So that was it. We're back home and Asher has all of his stuff out here that he got. 
So we got the tongs. This is some more like actual metal that he can work with. It's not just a rebar, just better quality stuff. This awesome brush that looks pretty Boris, boric serious. Acid and... Boric acid. Where is it? Things on that side. Boric acid powder. A new is this? No, you, that's just you had this. Okay. And then this tool to cut. However, we realize that the hole on his <laughs> anvil is too small for it. Um, so he thinks he can actually work that down and get it smaller. Yeah. That'll be a good uh, experiment. See if that works. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Got some new new tools to play with. We just got to figure out where to put the Ford so we can actually use it. We might just have them use it over the warehouse. We'll see. Yeah, so. It looks like there's some space here. Just move the box. No, there. this is... That's, <laughs> those are my shipping boxes. I don't know this, I don't know if this, if we can share this um, garage with so much well, different things. There does so. look like there's a space. Yeah, maybe, um, but I, we'll see. My only c concern is I'm right next to that, which I know has. Oh, the water heater? Yeah. No, which... that's okay. I don't think that would be an issue, but I think I'd rather have you over the warehouse. Now it's time to make well, dinner. I feel like there's lovely armor. We're making uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese for Asher's birthday. Pioneer Woman's tomato soup recipe. It looked good. Oh, Pioneer Woman. I okay. trust her. She has good taste buds. She has the best taste buds out there. Um, Jude's helping open up the cans over there. I know. It's awesome. It's like chain mail. And these boys are all hanging out. I went shopping today with uh -oh. Andrew and his best friend, Callie. They're going to prom together. And uh, we were looking for dresses, but she just ended up wearing one line. It looks good on her. I, fr I, I forgot about that dress. It was a dress Megan got for a formal occasion that we went to uh, related to doTERRA stuff once upon a time. Anyways, uh, so I think, is Kelly having dinner with us? Yes. Okay. So we're, um, yeah, making some food, hanging out. And then we're gonna have a movie night. Asher requested we watch a movie. Yes. So what's in this soup, Megan? Diced tomatoes, onion, butter, um, tomato juice. That's a new mm. thing that I hadn't heard of before. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna be adding some better than bouillon and some crema. And then oh, yeah, that's, that's that really dorky of me, how I always do that. I'd like to say I just do it sometimes when I'm on video, but I do it way it's more. It's only all the time. Yeah. And then yep. um, I'm gonna add some fresh basil. Buzz you. <laughs> okay, you need to stop. <laughs> and I'm done. All right, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and um, sugar. I'm in, oh, sugar too. I'm in charge of the, whoa. I'm in charge of grilled cheese and I'm burning some of them. So we have different types of bread we're working with here. All right, here we have it. It looks pretty good. What do you think, Eve? <laughs> you like it? Get yeah. some grapes? Yeah. Okay, and this is Callie, Andrew's friend. She's eating over with us. How what does everyone think? You like the soup? Good. Very delicious. Mmm. Okay, so the Pioneer Woman soup is a good option for All those. Stuff is good. Just just oh, not always healthy, but good. Okay. Now we're off to the grocery store to get Asher's cake. We 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 each thought we, the other one was getting his cake, and the kids like these ice cream cakes, so that's what we're doing. We don't. Ma well, we made it once. who's got time for that? All right, we've jumped four today. Um, we got Asher's cake and they came home and actually watched a movie as a family and it got late and we didn't do the cake yesterday. So it's actually the day after Asher's birthday. Today was his friend birthday party with um, three friends plus Peter. Um, but now we're gonna have the cake, so. Asher got an Oreo cake. These have become sort of a favorite with the the fam. I get this. So you guys got to wash your hands. I did. Asher, you? Okay, good. I don't want to eat wax. They don't eat the cake. It has. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Asher. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make it. Yay! 
Another thing that's going on today is there is a prom being held and Andrew and Esther are going to it. So Esther has a date, Andrew's going, um, you know, stag without, with a friend, but uh, it looks like they're all ready to go. Here it is. The lighting is not great in here. Can't really see the here, go color. Here, that wall. Is that better? It looks really good. It's a sweet little pink lace. It's cute. And then she got this jacket and grandma cut the sleeves shorter. And looks good. And okay. Pretty gold shoes. And gold Esther's date isn't she waiting downstairs. He's already here. We should have done a boutonniere. I asked him. <laughs> we didn't know. And I thought, you know. Yeah. Better. Yeah, I know. That was nice of you. <laughs> it looks perfect with your dress. Cute. Okay, should we go out and do some pictures? Does Esther look beautiful, Eve? Yeah. <laughs> Always. Okay, taking the pictures. Looking good. How you go? <laughs> you two. Can we make the most awkward faces possible? Yeah, like, why I used to do Caleb and uh, Andrew are going stag on this one, yeah. right, guys? Yeah. There's Bachelors. another one next here. Caleb, okay, take your bag off. Yeah, of course. Yes, it's going to be a funny tip. Yeah. We'll do it in the words of <laughs> Okay, get close. Esther, or Esther's there got two go. bodyguards. They're not like that. Just stand. <laughs> not like this. Wait, should I put my arms behind Andrew? No, it's okay. okay. Ready? Nope. Yeah, these two just got back from their prom time, and it was all fun. What did you guys have for dinner? Um, there were three options. I had salmon. I had really good steak. Like, really tender. Mm. And like, I don't normally like rare steak because I'm a child, so I'm not cultured. Mm -hmm. It was like, pretty rare and it was also really good. Mm -hmm. so, so, we've all just been hanging out here. It's yeah. a little, Having fun. A little damp. You can still see some of the butter coming out, but that's really cool. That Mom made homemade butter. That toast looks amazing. That's for you. Oh, thank this, you. This butter. I just wanted somebody to eat my butter. I don't. I don't eat when I hang out with groups of people, so it's good too. I really. Like, I didn't. Fi I didn't finish my dinner. I don't know how to get it the rest of the way drained. It looks so good. Wait, is this like meant for making? No, it's not for making. I didn't make it in there. It's just for oh. storing butter. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna end the video there. Forgot to end it that day. It's actually probably a week or two later, <laughs> so we're a little behind. Um, but thanks for coming along. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go to northernstuff.com and we'll see you later.